Morning for you. This is our ABBA eye care camera over on Powers and Woodman. As you look to the uh, west, northwest this morning, clear blue skies right now. We'll see a couple of clouds in and around the area through the morning. Warm temperatures again this afternoon. We're in the low 60s for Lamar, 55 Lyman. It's 40 in Leadville and 57 right now in Walsenburg. High today of 92 degrees in the Pueblo area, isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Overnight lows tomorrow morning down into the mid 60s. We're looking for a high of 86 here in Colorado Springs with a morning low Tuesday of 60 degrees. Woodland Park in the upper 70s, 74 divide, 52 on the top of Pikes Peak. We've got 89 Fountain Hanover, 87 degrees this afternoon in Ellicott. Mid 90s out across the plains. How about 95 for La Junta, 89 Burlington. Pueblo will top out at 93 and 94 this afternoon in the Denver Metro. So we do have a risk for an isolated severe storm, a stronger storm to pop up. The main threat here would be some larger hail and damaging wind. Also want to let folks know that we have a flash flood watch. That includes the San Juan Mountains or the Sangre de Cristos, excuse me, and the wet mountains, and especially for those burn scars. Anywhere that we've had wildfires in the last couple of years and that ground is still bare, that is the best chance to see those flash floods in the higher terrain. So as we work our way into the lunch hour, starting to see those showers and thunderstorms pop, there you go, Salida and Leadville. Certainly possible that they roll through Teller County into El Paso County, up along the Palmer Divide, then scattered showers from Salida, south and west up into the wet mountains and down towards Walsenburg before finally winnowing away as we head deeper into the evening hours. Tomorrow afternoon that threat for an isolated severe thunderstorm will shift a little bit further out to the east. General thunderstorm risk here along the I-25 corridor. Kind of the same story. You'll see some partly cloudy skies, good deal of sunshine early in the day, but look at this by the lunch hour out across the eastern plains and dropping south towards Lamar and Springfield. Stronger storms through the 3 o'clock hour tomorrow afternoon. From 3 o'clock into about the 6, 7 o'clock hour, showers and thunderstorms. This is our very latest updated model run. Came in about 15 minutes ago. Now showing Colorado Springs, Pueblo, Walsenburg, and Trinidad with some fairly hefty little storms here rolling across the region. And those are dropping south, moving out of the area later tomorrow night. Highs tomorrow afternoon, mid-80s Pueblo, 80 Colorado Springs at 70 for Leadville and 88 in Lamar. So we're going to get a little bit of a cool down the next couple of days and then those temperatures are going to jump once again. Woodland Park, 69 degrees, showers and thunderstorms certainly in the forecast for your Tuesday. Drying out Wednesday and Thursday, we're back into the low 80s for Thursday and Friday. All right, Canyon City. 89 degrees this afternoon, 83 coming up on Tuesday. Then we're going to make a big jump into the mid 90s for Thursday and Friday before a cooling trend heading into the weekend. For the Pueblo area, it's 85 tomorrow afternoon, 86 on Wednesday. We'll see those temperatures approaching the upper 90s for Thursday and Friday. A little better chance for showers and thunderstorms and slightly cooler as we head into the weekend. Colorado Springs, it's 86 this afternoon, 80 tomorrow, 83 coming up on Wednesday. So we get that l diminishing trend for showers and thunderstorms into the midweek and warming it up into the 90s. By Saturday and Sunday, we're talking right now about a 20% chance for isolated late day showers and thunderstorms, but we do have cooler temperatures Saturday and Sunday in the low to mid 80s. Guys, back over to you.